Hello Stampers, I'm Kelly Atchison at stampabump.com coming to you from Menasha, Wisconsin in the United States. Today I have a fun technique called die cut spotlight that I'm going to be sharing with you and it's part of the Totally Techniques blog hop for January. So when we get to the end of this video, there's going to be a link you can click up in the corner and that's going to take you to my blog where you're going to find a list of other Stampin' Up! demonstrators from all over the world that are also sharing the die cut spotlight technique with you. So I think there's going to be a lot of different ideas using this technique. And I'm going to be using the Friendly Hello bundle, which is free with a $100 order. You get a stamp set and designer paper. Um, up until the end of February when that celebration promotion is over. So I hope you like my project. I had a lot of fun making it and I hope you'll do the blog hop so you can see what everybody else made with this technique. Let's flip the camera around and get started. I'm going to start out here with my cardstock layers. I've got a basic white thick card base. This is five and a half by eight and a half, and I've already scored it at four and a quarter. And then I've got a basic white envelope, and I'm supposed to have, oh, there it is, two and a half by six inch of our beautiful friendly hello designer series paper. Now, this is part of our celebration promotion that lasts until the end of February. This stamp set is part of the bundle that you can get free with a $100 purchase. So every time your order hits $100, you can select this bundle, which comes stamp set and 12 by 12 double-sided designer series paper. I just love all these pretty, almost tropical patterns. And we're going to make some, well, we're going to make a pretty card with this. Next, I have a half inch slice of the designer paper. And I chose the pool party side of this gorgeous paper. Then we've got a scrap of basic black. We've got a three and three eighths by four and five eighths basic black, a basic white that is three and a quarter by four and a half, and a piece of the designer paper that is four by five and a quarter. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to add our background layer here. Now, like I said before, this is the die cut spotlight technique and it's really cool. I think we're going to see a lot of very different ideas in this blog hop. So when we get to the end, I'll show you a link where you can click on it. You want to make sure that you go follow the blog hop and see what everybody else has made. As of the making of this video, I have not seen anybody else's projects. So I'm pretty excited to see what their take on this is. Sometimes you can get some really different ideas on the same technique or challenge. And I just love seeing all the different creativity. So this is just a really nice way to decorate up the inside of your card and leave yourself a lot of room to write in. Now I'm going to take this layer and we're going to decorate our envelope right away. And as I've said many times, if you follow me, I love the presentation that happens when you decorate an envelope, whether you're hand delivering your card or mailing it. When somebody opens up their mailbox and sees all this pretty on their envelope, I think the anticipation to open it up and see what's actually inside is a little bit heightened. And it really makes for a fun experience. So isn't that pretty already? Right, so let's get to our technique. Now, what we're going to do here, 
I'm gonna bring in a couple circle dies and these are from the layering circles. So I'm just going to simply put these down on my cardstock and I've got two, you know, almost the same size. One's just a little bit smaller than the other one here. You wanna make sure that these don't overlap as they go through your machine so that they stay flat. Otherwise you'll kind of bend and ruin your dies, right? So I'm gonna die cut this first to make myself a little frame. One other thing I forgot too is you're gonna need a scrap of pool party. So this came right out of my die cutting machine. I'm gonna take my temporary tape off. And we have a circle. That's not what I'm looking for. I am looking for this piece right here. It made a perfect little frame and we'll be working with that in just a moment. I'm going to bring in my piercing mat and do stamping. So basically what you're doing here, you could use one solid, or not solid, but one line art stamp that's like really big, or you can use images that are just outline stamps. So this is line art, we would call this, as opposed to a solid flower. It's a line art flower. I'm going to be using Memento ink. And I'm just going to stamp my flowers all over this white layer. Now remember, you can always find dimensions for all of my projects on my blog, and my blog address is right here. You're also going to find that address under all of my videos in the description. If you've ever looked underneath a video, there's a small little description, and it usually says something like, see more. And if you click on that see more, you're gonna find links to all kinds of stuff that I talk about in my videos. So you can find a link right to my blog post with this particular project in it so you don't have to go hunting around for it. I always like to make sure I do that because if I wanna know details about somebody's video, I don't wanna spend a half an hour looking for it on their website, right? So now that we've put our flowers all over this layer, we're going to take that smaller circle and we're going to die cut it out of the middle. But before we do that, I want to add that to my black layer so it die cuts both of them. So let's get, get some glue on here. And we're gonna add this layer to this layer. And I just like that real thin, tiny little margin here. Gives you that big pop of color or black, which I don't know, that's a color, I guess. I see that I cut this a little wrong. I'm gonna trim that off just a tiny bit. But what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take my, I think I'll use this end. I'm gonna take my circle and I'm going to die cut the circle right out of both of these layers. I'll be right back. And here comes our die, and it did cut through both layers, so that's great. Now, if it doesn't cut through both layers, what you can do is you can pop this white one off, and then you can set this right back in place again and run it through again, and it'll cut the next one. So let me get the temporary tape off of here. Now, we are going to color this, and I am going to grab my Pool Party ink, and I am just going to color in these flowers. So this is where the spotlight of this technique comes in, because we're just going to do a little bit here, and we're going to spotlight these flowers. I'm going to use my other end to go around the outside here. I would use both of my pool party colors. This is my pool party light and I would do a little bit of um, you know shading and accenting in here. <laughs> Unfortunately I do not have my other marker. My pool party dark 
So it is out with one of my helpers right now. I'm like, oh, dang it. You know, I have a gazillion markers, but as soon as I send one out the door <laughs> with somebody, then I need it, right? That's just, that's just the nature of the game. And then I think we'll use a So Saffron Light just to color in the insides of those flowers. Yeah, I think that was, I wasn't sure which color I wanted to use on there. Okay. We are going to bring in this little frame and I'm just gonna add a little bit of glue to this. And we're gonna put that right on the opening. I want to make sure you get it lined up nicely. Now I'm going to come in with my black dimensionals and we are going to add a bunch of these to the back of this to support it so that it's popped up just a bit. And I like to use my take your pick tool to pick all these backs off. It just goes faster for me. If you put it in at a little bit of an angle and then lift, they come right off. Okay, oh, um, before we do this part, we're gonna put some of our glitter ribbon around there. I've got our black, this is our black organdy glittered ribbon. And I am going to add that right around my front here. So don't take your dimensional backings off until you get this part done because you don't want your card sticking to everything. I'm gonna try not to push it down on my surface. Sometimes I get ahead of myself. I was just so excited. <laughs> Oh, that turned out pretty good. Let me see if I can get this up now. Yep. Whew. <laughs> Don't try that at home. <laughs> Just kidding. It'll be fine. Okay, we are going to put this right on the front here. Now we've got a whole bunch of busy going on, right? But we're gonna take this now and we're gonna put this back into our card front just like a puzzle. Oh, I see, I don't have this color very dark. Let me get these just a little bit more. Those are really pale. And a little bit right there and a little bit right there. Oh, and before we set this in place, let's hit it with some Wink of Stella. I think that's a grand idea. That's going to just put a little bit of glitter on these flowers. Not only are they colored, that's going to make them pop out nicely, but they are also going to have a little bit of shimmer. And there we go. Now we're ready to set this in place. So I'm gonna put this back in here like a puzzle piece. Let's see, which way do you think this goes? Like this? Yep, I think it, it lines up with this flower right over here. I'm gonna use my take your pick tool. Lines up with this flower right here. So that's the way we're gonna put that in there. Pop that back out. I'm just going to add some adhesive right in that circle. And we're gonna come right back in here and add that right in there. There we go. All right, we need, we need some words on the front. What do you guys think? Isn't that pretty? 
we need a little bit of a sentiment on the front. So I'm going to bring in the You Have My Love and Support from the Friendly Hello stamp set. I'm going to use Stays on Ink this time, and I'll tell you why. This is um, pool party cardstock, and colored cardstock is a little more porous than white cardstock. And Stays on Ink is going to give you a more uh, solid image than Memento Ink. Memento is fabulous for stamping these outlines. This is a little bit thicker, and I'm also stamping on white. When I stamp on colored cardstock, I tend to grab my stays on ink because it's going to be a more solid image. All right, so essential tag punch. And what I'm gonna do here is I am going to put this in, and I want this to be smaller than this and I'm gonna change the shape of it a little bit. So right now what I'm doing is just looking to make it straight in my punch. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this piece and I'm gonna feed it back into my punch to get that same decoration on the other end. But I do want it to be a little bit smaller than this. So I'm gonna keep Let's see if I can keep pushing it in here. And well, now it seems to be a little bit stuck. Sometimes you gotta futz around with it just a little bit to make it, there we go, to make it do what you need it to do. You can also, if this is hard for you to hang on to, you can take a post-it note and put it on here so you can slide it around easier. Let's try that. So you can see exactly what I'm talking about. I'm just going to put a post-it note on here. I'm gonna tear this off so it doesn't get stuck with the post-it note part, the sticky part, right? So I'm just gonna slide this right in here and now you can see you can maneuver this around like you need it to be. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull it so that it's a little bit shorter. Make sure that I'm getting that top and bottom lined up. And this looks really good. And now you can peel this off of here and now I have a whole different shape, right? Than what this punch was intended for. I love doing stuff like this with my punches because it just makes them more valuable, I think. Okay, here comes. I'm going to put a dimensional at the top and the bottom of this tag. And we're going to set that right over top of our ribbon. I think I'm going to move that up just a little bit. And the last thing that we need in here on our card is some embellishments. And I'm going to bring in my favorite. These are new in the holiday, or I'm sorry, in the spring mini catalog. And they're called Iridescent Rhinestone Jewels. And I just thought a few on my tag would be really pretty. So I'm just gonna do some little tags like that, or some little embellishments on my tag like that. Here comes our matching envelope. Now, isn't that a spectacular presentation? I also have another card that I made using the petal pink. The insides of these flowers are colored with light, fresh freesia. So that just adds a little pop of color in there. And again, this is our beautiful, beautiful paper. This comes with the stamp set and it is free with a $100 order between now and the end of February. So if you are in the United States and you do not have a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, I would love to earn your business. This is my blog address. You can click right up here to head over to the blog hop where you're gonna see everybody's idea 
of the die cut spotlight technique. And I can guarantee you that some of these are going to be very different from this. So I think you'll enjoy them. Please make sure you click down here to subscribe to my YouTube channel. You don't want to miss anything that I have coming out. And right now, between now and the end of February, if you're in the U.S., the best time to place an order is during celebration. With every $50 you order, you get to choose something free, and there's no limit. If you spend $100, you get to choose two $50 items, or with $100, you can get a level $200 bundle. We also have another stamp set that has a whole bunch of stamps in it that is valued um, free with a $100 order. And if you join my team and become a discount shopper between now and the end of February, you get to choose two additional stamp sets to go with an already amazing deal on our starter kit. Any questions about that, let me know. You will find all kinds of contact information for me under the video on YouTube, when you click to see more in that description, lots of good information on there. And of course, I always appreciate your orders if you're in the U.S. Thank you so much. That's what keeps all these free videos coming to you. Join that blog hop. Check out what everybody else made. And thank you so much for taking a little bit of time out of your day to spend with me. I hope you've enjoyed this technique. Bye-bye.